1972 here. Of course, you know me as Brian. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, anyways, as the title says, Recent Library Pickups. I think I got, yeah, all of these are free. Um, yeah, people were donating these. And, um, you know, the library's kind of not in a total... Um, reopening phase you know it's it's um there's only like one room open for people to use and i think you have to make an appointment to go in that room and if you want a book or you know cd dvd you know you have to um order it and then somebody on, in the library the staff has to go out go up you know go go to the place where it is and pick pick it out and then you know bring it to the desk and then um have it for pick, curbside pickup. Yeah, so anyways, and, and let me just get some business out of the way. Um, well, okay, so you might have noticed on my channel that I took out the case for the Biden-Harris ticket video. Um, I didn't know what to do about that. I thought, you know, it's a little, um, maybe I should keep politics out of, off of YouTube. You know, I everybody has their own tastes. Well, it's a contentious issue, I get if that's the right words to use. Um, but yeah, it, it's just icky, and it's like walking through quicksand. It's just uh, I, I don't want to start a big deal about that on YouTube or Facebook, you know. Um, you know, I Facebook I might show like some of my some of where where I where I view things, but I you know I don't want to show it in a video. Um, you know, a YouTube video that I put on YouTube, and then I that one that I put also on Facebook, but I took it off. So, okay, and then the next uh, um, um, next uh, thing of business is that um, uh, the grumpy old gentleman on film they did a um, uh, well, they, they've been you know doing their monthly picks. And I haven't been keep keeping abreast of the the channel, so you know, like, um, but I but one of the films that they covered, um, one of their members, Jay, he he picked, um, it was a second pick, I think, he picked Pale Rider. So I took Pale Rider out of the library and I checked it, out, you know, I looked at it. I did do a video on it, but I I have to edit the video. I think I might put some pictures in it to make it so, you know interesting. So you know I got that to do, and then I guess the last order of business is uh, before I show you my pickups. Um, I've been doing garage band music. Like I, I did some garage band music today with my guitars, um, and then but but there's a lot of garage band music um, on my external hard drive that I haven't worked on. I mean, ton, you know, quite a lot. Maybe a lot, you know, many, many, few hours, maybe a little more than that, maybe a few, I don't know, three, five, seven hours, I don't know. There's a lot of files that I have, that I haven't worked, you know, that I sort of worked on, but just left it and, and didn't finish it. So um, I might go back to those files and, and, and uh, you know, maybe add more guitar or, or put some loop tracks in or put drums in or take something out, whatever. I, and I, just to, just, just, just this last part here. Um, and I'll, I'll put it on the, on the video where you can, if you don't want to hear all this and you want to see the pickups, I'll put, I'll put, you know, this video, this, this pickup start, this pickup part starts at, you know, something minutes and something seconds. But anyways, so, um, what I was saying was, um, 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 uh, what was I saying? Uh, let's see. Oh, hang on. Let me hang. Let me, I, I now remember, um, I have a few external hard drives that I store, you know, a, a fair amount of my stuff on, of, of my computer because, the computer can only hold so much, you know, it holds, I think, like 121 gigabytes of memory. So, you know, obviously, after, you know, I've had this computer since 2014, so I have somewhere I've got to store it. So I have a few hard drives that I store my information on. Um, in any case, um, I had one that I've owned since either 2014 or 15, 
and it was acting funny recently. And um, so I ordered some hard drives in the mail, and uh, I, I, I think, yeah, I, I think my files are safe. I, I transferred the files from the old hard drive to a new external hard drive. And I think, yeah, well, a lot of them were garage band music. And then there were some um, video files. And then there were some, um, um, what do you call it, uh, picture files. So I, I managed to save a lot of stuff. Um, and my other external hard drive I've had since since recently. I, yeah, I, I bought that one recently. I think this year. Yes, yeah, this year I bought another one, you know, because I think, yeah, because I was running out of space on the old one. So I, I guess I was taxing maybe the, the external hard drive because I was filling it up and, you know, uh, maybe getting close to um, overloading it. I think a few times I almost, you know, um, got, got very close to overloading it, overloading the external hard drive, the old one. Yeah, so anyways, um, new external hard, hard drive, and I, I managed to save those videos, one of them being the Pale Rider one. So um, yeah, okay. Let me let me get to the video now. Okay. So, anyways, anyways, I think these are all DVDs except for. Let's see, two. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's two Blu-rays. Technically three. You'll see what I mean. This one's high voltage. I have no idea what it's about, but I think it has. Well, it's David Arquette, and that's the only... Oh, Luke Wilson, I recognize that name. And this guy looks like he's hes the guy from Stranger Things, the um, the love interest of, of, of uh, Winona Ryder, the cop in the town. I don't know if that's the guy. Ali Ganino, Ryan Donahoe, Perry Reeves. If anybody knows, maybe I'm totally wrong on that. And I think that's David Arquette right there. I have no idea what this movie is about, but it looked interesting. I mean, look at the back there. You know, I, I like going in blind. I mean, I, I buy Criterion's blind buys, you know, so it's no big deal if I don't know what it is. It's free, so what, is, what does it matter? This is called Hollow in the Land. I have no idea but, uh, what this is about either. It looks interesting from, from the cover. Small Town Deadly Secrets. It has Diana Agron, Sean Ashmore, and Rachel Le Lefebvre. I have no idea who those people are. Maybe I guess it's maybe it's an independent film. I have no idea. Um, this I picked up. I I don't know. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, this is there's actually technically well there's technically. Th Four hard, uh, four Blu-rays, but technically it's three. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a, in a few minutes. Um, they were given, you know, they were giving it away, and I, I'm not really. I mean, I watched the Muppets when I was a kid, but maybe it's entertaining. Muppets Most Wanted. It's got you, you got Ricky Gervais there, and you got Tina Fey, uh, Ty Burrell. I, 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 I don't know who he. I think I knew at one point who he was. I don't. Oh, this is still in the plastic wrap. I do own a few movies that are, that are in the plastic wrap, like um, American Psycho. I think that's a Blu-ray. I think Argo's in the in the plastic wrap. That's a Blu-ray. I had the DVD. Um, I have uh, Dead Zone in the plastic wrap. Plastic wrap. That's a DVD. I have Hugo in a plastic wrap. That's a DVD. I have One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. That's in a DVD. That's a DVD in a plastic wrap. So there are a few movies I have in plastic wrap. I think there are a few other ones. Maybe Bullet DVD with Steve McQueen. I can't remember. I have a few in the plastic wrap. I just never took the plastic wrap off. So, but mostly they're unwrapped. But Toy Story three. Um, I like Toy Stories 1 and 2 um, a lot. I think they're really good. Um, maybe Toy Story 2 I like a bit more than number 1. They're both good, though. The only thing I... The, Toy Story 3, though, I only like the starting of. But I like behind-the-scenes stuff and knowing how things are done. So, 
But you'll see what I mean in just a second here. So I, I got another one, exact same thing. And I, I asked, when I saw there were two, I, I asked could I take both of them because I didn't know if one was scratched or not or whatever. So I'm planning on, on giving one of them to a friend of mine. So Okay, next up, you got Bedazzled, Brendan Fraser, and Elizabeth Hurley. I guess it's, I have no idea, I've never seen this movie, but I guess it's decent. I have no idea how good it is or how bad it is. We'll have to see whenever I watch it. Who knows when that will be? I have no idea. This film, I've seen the trailer for it, and it looked interesting visually, but I hear it's kind of bad, but who knows. The Lone Ranger with uh, Johnny Depp and Army Hammer. So who knows how good this film is. I mean... Sometimes people will, you know, critics or fans will bash a movie and then you'll see it and you'll have a completely different opinion of it. I mean, I mean, like Ron Howard to me is a mediocre director, but he directed a few good movies like Cocoon and, and Cinderella Man. So, you know, um, it, you never know sometimes, you know. Um, I've seen this film, Emma. I like this movie. I like period films, you know, like Barry Lyndon. Dangerous Liaisons, to Age of Innocence, and then I like the Sword and Sandal stuff, you know, like, um, well, like Alexander's a bad movie, but I, I still enjoy it because of the time period and, you know, the way it looks, and uh, that that's with, um, directed by Oliver Stone, you know, with um, Colin Farrell's Alexander the Great, and, and, and Val Kilmer's his father, Philip, and um, his mother, I don't know the name of the mother, but she's played by um, Angelina Jolie with this crazy accent, you know, European, East European accent. Um, but, you know, other movies like that, Spartacus, um, 300, um, you know, films, films of that nature, Clash of the Titans, you know. And anyways, yeah, I like these period films a lot. Um, I, you know... So, you know, uh, Barry Lyndon, The Duelist, Dangerous Liaisons. I, I can't think of the other ones, but I don't know. Maybe Quills. I think I have Quills. I, if I, I own Quills, it's that's about the Marquis de Sade. And I like period shows, too. Like, I've, I've been watching. I haven't been watching it for a while, but I was watching one on Hulu called uh, The Great, about Catherine and the Great of Russia. And it starred, I think it, it's Elle Fanning, it's Dakota Fanning's sister, and she she's um, she's come to Russia because she's arranged she's prearranged marriage to uh, Peter, not Peter the Great, I don't think, but Peter's son, and he's kind of crazy. But anyways, going back to this, um, Gone in sixty seconds. I've heard of this movie. I think I've seen the trailer. Nicholas Cage. I think he's over that. His acting's over the top a lot, I guess. But he. Um, who knows? Maybe this will be an interesting. Um, Go on 60 seconds. This one's still in the plastic wrap. I've heard about this all, all, you know, a lot over the years. I know there's a criterion of this. The Rock uh, with Sean Connery. Nick, again, Nicolas Cage there. And then Ed Harris. Um... Oh, I'm thinking Armageddon, the other one, Armageddon, the one where they're on the, they're, they're supposed to destroy a meteorite head, headed for space, headed for the Earth. Um, I think that was with Ben Affleck and with Bruce Willis. I think this is then this involves Alcatraz. I think so. But again, you know, if you know anything, if you like these films, if if, if you know some information. You know, if you have some of those editions and you know what they're about, you know, let me know. Anyways, next one up is Enemy of the State. It's um, Will Smith and Gene Hackman. I think it, yeah, I've seen the trailer for this film, I think. Oh, this is by Tony Scott, the director. You know, um, Bradley Scott's brother. Tony, Tony Scott committed suicide a few years back. I think he could, I, I think that was his cause of his death. I have another one of his movies, Man on Fire, with uh, Will, um, not Will Smith, Denzel Washington, and I think it's Dakota Fanning. Um, yeah, so anyways. 
Next up, there's a criterion of this, I, I think. Yes, there is, I believe. Um, I guess it was sort of lukewarm to this film when it came out, but I think I changed my opinion now. Traffic is directed by Steven Soderbergh. Uh, it's got a pretty, pretty big name cast. Michael Douglas, Don Cheadle, Benicio Del Toro, Dennis Quaid, and, Quaid and Catherine Zeta-Jones. It's a won four Academy Awards Best Director, Steven Soderbergh. Best Adapted Screenplay, Best Supporting Actor, uh, Benicio Del Toro, and Best Film Editing. Best, yeah, so... Anyways, I, I can take a look at this again at some point, I guess. Okay, and this one is Analyze This with Robert De Niro and Billy Crystal. Maybe this gave the idea, this film gave the idea for The Sopranos where James Gandolfini is going to a psychologist played by, um, what's her name, um, in Goodfellas. Um, Whatever her name is. I can't remember her name. If I remember her name, I'll put it right here. You know, um, she, she's in Goodfellas. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, if you can, if you know it, I, I, I can't, I can't remember it. I'll just put it down there. You know, I mean, just, just put the name down there. I think your name, character name is Dr. Melfi. But anyways, maybe this is what gave it the, the, the inspiration because I think this is about a gangster that goes to a, a psych therapist. I don't know if this is the first one or the second one, because one's called Analyze This, and the other one is called, I think, Analyze That. So I don't know which one is first. And last one to finish, finish off, and I really would like to watch this one. Uh, I think I had it on one of my streaming services, or um, I can still see it on... One of them, but I don't care. I, I like to watch a Blu-ray, and it looks pretty cool with the special features and everything. And it's rock and roll. The Runaways, you know, Joan Jett. I think Joan Jett's yeah is plays by played by Chris, Kirsten Stewart and oh Kristen Stewart and Dakota Fanning plays Sherry Curry. Sherry Curry. So this looks pretty cool. Um, that looks like a lot of fun to watch. All right, so that it that that's it. That that boy, that's all the films. Let me know if you have any opinions on those films, whether you like them, whether you hate them. Um, you know, um, special features if you own one of those movies, if you own a different version of the movie. Um, you know, if you if if I you know got something wrong or you know I couldn't remember something, and you can fill in the blank. Do do that. Whatever. Um, and, oh, and, and one other thing I'd like to, uh, say uh, while I'm on here, um, I thought of doing these videos call, called the, a case for, like, one I, I thought of doing was for these movie for movies, called a case for, and, you know, blank, insert a movie name, and the first one I thought of doing was The Last Emperor, because I'm really impressed with the uh, Criterion DVD box set of The Last Emperor. You know, it's got a big book and it's got four DVDs. You know, the first DVD has the theatrical edition and a commentary. The second has the television version, which is longer. The third disc has all this behind the scenes stuff. And then the fourth, fourth disc does two, I think. And then it has history of the actual, what actually happened in real life. In, in that time period that um, Isenjuro Puyi, the last emperor of China, existed. So um, I would like to make a video about that, but, you know, I, I think maybe I should have it accompanied by photos and all this stuff, and I'm just thinking it might be a big production, so I have no idea when I would go about doing that, but I, I thought of doing it, so, you know. Anyways, I don't want to keep blathering on. I uh, uh, hope... Um, Hope to put up another video in the near future. We'll see what happens. But anyways, thanks for watching and bye for now.